Joining us now is former FTC Commissioner Moselle Thompson. Moselle, it's been a while. Good to see you. So Good to see you too. what's different about this mostly seems to be this dark patterns uh, claim that the FTC is making about Amazon, that they make it way too easy to accidentally sign up and way too hard to cancel on purpose. Now, as a consumer, it feels to me like dark patterns are part of life, but is it different when you're Amazon and the biggest e-commerce retailer around? It might be. You know, you're right. To a certain extent, whenever you're visiting anybody on the site, or even if you go to the department store, they're trying to figure out a way to capture your attention and to stay, keep you engaged. What they're talking about here, though, this might be a test on what they think of as dark patterns, things or tricks that are in the code that direct you back to the site and makes it harder for you to actually leave. And uh, this will be a test of that. And um, in this case, there's also been reported that there are whistleblowers out there from inside Amazon who are former employees, et cetera, who can talk about how Amazon used those tricks and they knew that they were capturing people and wouldn't let them leave. Now, I have had friends who have worked in customer service, and frankly, our parent is a cable company. So I know that companies try to make it, you know, try to sweeten the offer, try to keep you from dropping a service. Not every company makes it easy for you to cancel a service online. How much of this is gonna come down to data about how hard or easy it is for prime customers to, uh, to cancel, how much of it is gonna come down to anecdotes, perhaps from uh, employees internally or former employees about you know, how hard they tried to make it? I think a lot of this is gonna be fact-driven. It's really gonna be based on what the evidence provides. And the other thing too is uh, you all know, I mean, I know people anecdotally who say, I'll sign up for Prime and I'll quit on the 29th day instead of the 30th day. Um, so one of the things that's going to be really important here, as more and more companies are looking for a way to stabilize what their user base is, then the practices they use in order to make those bases stable are going to be under increased scrutiny, especially if they have a consumer face. So. M Moselle, I mean, the fact that the stock only settled down about three quarters of a percent, uh, it wasn't a big move lower, ultimately, uh, on, on this news about the FTC suing. Um, what, what, what could this actually look like? Say, say the FTC is successful in its suit. It finds that Amazon has been doing this. I mean, what are we talking about in terms of repercussions for, for the company? Well, one of the things, that could be a hefty fine, or they could even compel Amazon to... Um, to allow a large group of people to leave. Now, if those people are really happy the way Amazon says, then I think most people won't leave if they do believe that Amazon is providing value. So it could be a range of things. They could, they could issue an injunction to stop you from engaging in practices. And Amazon has already said that the practices that are complained of, a lot of them ended a, a little while ago. Don't forget this complaint has this, these allegations have been going on in the investigations for uh, two years now. So uh, that's one. But the other thing is uh, whether they make them pay a hefty fine or they make them provide some sort of refund for people who did not want to be on Prime and were, um, were captured in Prime and unable to leave.